The girls' three-point contest is sponsored by Preferred Physical Therapy. Several shooters. It looks like all of our competitors are from the KVL League, so they will all be competing against each other. And they all can they all can shoot a little bit too. So that that's that's one thing. We watched them play a few times this year, and you know, I'm going to pick Jamie Johnson to be my pick to click as we used to say in baseball. <laughs> she's who I'm putting, she's who I'm putting my $2 on. Every time I go to my Facebook here, I'm covering up my screen because I don't want to see anything about the KU game, even though my partner, this evening, Jerry Jones, <laughs> almost pushed them out the chair. It's going to be a solo thing, telling me that um, things are looking well. They are looking so, well. So I'm almost so tempted to just go look now since he already. <laughs> I don't mind watching party, this on DVR. Party foul, Jarius. <laughs> party foul. Hey, we have to keep up with this game as we go on. Otherwise, I think I may jump out of my skin. But this is this is good. I'm glad that we're here. I really am. This first annual, or as I like to say, inaugural all-star game for the Shoe KC 2013 KBL versus KCAL. Hosted by David Brocks. We are absolutely delighted. All right, so our girls. Our girls' competition is getting ready to start. We're going to have. Shout out. All right, so we're going to go to an interview now with, looks like, Demarcus Creighton. And I'm here with Demarcus Creighton, and he, he's out here. He was one of the leading shooters here in the first round of the three point shootout. He hit 18. He went, went against one of his good friends. How'd it feel like that? How'd it feel out there? It felt real good. Going against my friend Alex Garvin, you know, you know that which is a real good shooter, played for Sumner. You know what I'm saying? We played backyard basketball in the back of his house, you know. But it feels good out there. I'm just happy to be here, you know. I'm happy I made it to this little all-star game thing to shoot the ball because I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, most definitely. You hit 18 out of 25. What did it feel like when you really started to get hot? What did it feel like? When you get, like, when you get hot out there, you just starting to feel it. Then I just like tune everybody out so you know i just shoot the ball you know well, most definitely man we just thank you for the time and have a good time out there have fun and try to bring this thing home for the watch house thank you. all right we're gonna send it back to our guys over there at the table i asked the marcus creighton there from washington talking about you know i do what i do i shoot the ball you got to like that confidence <laughs> in the young man oh most definitely so up here we have Haley hoffine shooting here And Maddie Walker from Tonganoxy. Hot finds over here on the camera. She would be to your left. Maddie Walker is on your right from Tonganoxy. So Hot find completed her round. So we'll see who's going to move on to the next round of the competition. Something we haven't talked about tonight uh, that I think is also remarkable is that all of these young people will continue their educations beyond high school. Uh, some of them will be student athletes, and many of them will, all of them will be focusing on attaining that college degree. And so we're happy uh, that these young people will be able to go out and complete what they started, what their parents have envisioned for them, and hopefully they'll come back to Kansas City uh, ready to contribute in various other ways. So I wanted to make sure we let them know that. And I also want to thank the administrators uh, of these students. Uh, we want to thank their school districts, uh, everyone that's been involved, all the teachers who made an impression on these young people. I'm really proud to be here. I agree with you 100%. You know, we'd like to thank the districts as well, um, supporting what we're trying to do here in Kansas City. You know, we have some roadblocks here and there with some of the programs, but for the most part, um, you know, great administration, 
out there, opened up doors for us. My pick, Jamie Johnson, I'm trying to keep my eye on her over here on the, you know, your, your left. She's my pick to click, and she's, um, now she's starting to kind of catch it a little bit. There we go. And if you're looking on the split screen, she's on the right. Oh, I'm sorry, Jamie's on the left, number two. Filling it up over there. Uh, looks like Tripp's knocking it down too. Maybe Jamie Johnson ran into the wrong person tonight. But she's, she's filling it up a little bit. Looks like my girl Jamie Johnson ran into the Looks like she ran into the wrong um, shooter tonight. The wrong matchup. So who gets to collect? <laughs> so we have Bromel from Lansing and Jenny Whitlich. Well, Jenny Whitlich can stroke it a little bit for Tonganoxi. Whitlich is going to be on your right in the screen. And Morgan's going to be on your left on the screen. Whitlich, who I talked about earlier, better volleyball players in the state of California. I forgot where she's going, but I know she did receive a volleyball scholarship. I actually got a chance to see her hops a little bit. She can jump a little bit, get some rebounds, getting double doubles in sub state. She has some music on during the three point shootout. Giving them optimal time to concentrate. We still got the crowd filling in. I think a lot of people's gonna be getting here for the dunk contest and the three point shootout. We should have had a legends game. It would have been nice. Hey, we may be on to something next year. Still want some, want some music for this three point shootout. It looks like the last contestants are done, or, or did we ha just have some inner? <laughs> I see somebody down here looking like they're about to shoot, so. Yeah, yeah we had a couple more um, enter the competition here, so it look, looks like we have Jamie Reddick. And. Maddie Sanders from Atchison. Reddick, Reddick was probably sitting there thinking, you know, I hit that three to open this game up. I might as well go out there and get buckets. Got Todd Henderson up here. They let him out the truck. The man behind the scene. <laughs> Todd Henderson, got Mark Snyder down there in the truck as well, running production. Producer extraordinaire. Mark's moved up. You know, he went from holding the camera in the little three-man crew to calling the shots down in the truck. <laughs> Moving up like George and Wheezy. There we go. I can't believe you just <laughs> said that. <laughs> Moving up. Moving up, Mark. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Weber seems to be struggling a little bit. So again, we're in the final competitors here of the ladies three-point shootout. And there still continues to be fans filing in to this arena. 
What's, what's crazy about all these fans, you know, David had a, before the uh, competition, you know, a little discount. Nobody got the discount ticket, so uh, everybody's coming in now. And Looking at my daughter out there pulling the cord. She's like, I did not sign up for this. <laughs> she said, I brought my purse and my money, and I wanted some nachos. That's the dynamic thing about Todd Henderson. He knows how to recruit individuals to help out with the production when needed. But she wanted to run out the house with me. I was like, you sure you want to do this? She's going to think twice next time. <laughs> Nothing wrong with work. We are enjoying our time. The last competitors to have their rounds with the three-point contest. And so it looks like we're going to get ready here for the second half. Hearing who's moving on. Looks like we have some tie with 11, so we'll have to have a shootout. Another shootout. High fine. Got some college coaches in the building. No good event tonight. Got like we're about to get an interview with Piper. Piper School Board elect potentially Morris Letcher, assistant coach of Sumner Academy. So we're going to get an interview with him here shortly. Coming over here, coming up behind, put me in the choke hole. <laughs> yeah, he almost, he almost caught it. That's how those big brothers do it. All right, so before our interview, we just got the little shootout here for the ladies with the tie, but we're going to go to commercial. We're going to come back shortly with um, Morris Letcher. So we're commercial, so we come back for commercial. Okay. I didn't know you was on. That's why I didn't oh, know you were trying to stay away. All right. Hey, so we're commercial. All right, so we're back from commercial. We're going to send it to Cameron Smith here with an interview with Morris Letcher. All right, we got Coach Morris Letcher here. The uh, man, the myth, the legend. Oh, whatever, man. We got coach, uh, assistant coach at Sumner. Tell us a little bit about how your year went this year. Uh, we had a, a rough year. Uh, we, our record wasn't like it usually is. We finished, I think, uh, 11 and 12. Uh, but it wasn't a long season like you would think with a losing record. Uh, Sumner has great expectations. We've been doing well for so long. The wheel often comes back around at certain times. So it went pretty well. well we're, we're here to focus on the, the older guys, but let's talk about a younger guy real quick. What do you? What can you tell us? A little insider information about the game of Derek Sykes. Uh, the Derek Sykes. He's a, a special player, man. He's uh, he's very athletic. Uh, he's willing to learn. Uh, he brings a lot of energy. Uh, can't see the better watch out. He's going to be a real good player in the next future. Yeah, most definitely. Well, we got we got a couple of you got your guys out here tonight. Who 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 from Sumner is representing for the Sabres? Uh, Garvin, Alex Garvin. He's just playing in the All Star game. He also shot the three point shot contest. Jalen Womack also uh, shot in the three point contest. I didn't see who won, yeah. but I got to watch and see what was going on. Jalen went on a little spurt there for a minute, so I don't know who won yet. We'll see. Well, I, I know one of those. One of those Wildcats, they kind of got a little loose out there, but we're, we're not going to talk about that because we just yeah, talk about that. <laughs> we just thank you for your time, Coach, coming out here, Thanks, and we're going to go ahead and send it back to our guys on the sideline. All right, thank you, man. All right. Take care. All right, that was Coach Morris Letcher there with our Cameron Smith with a little interview. Looks like we moved on to the next round of the three-point shootout, where we still have a tie, one or the other, but we have Haley Hoffine. Um, on your screen, who's at the on the left at your screen? On the right, we have one of the number 32s. Who we have there? Is that um, McKenna? No, it's either Connor Shriver or Tanner Tripp. I think it's Tripp. We're in the next round. Tripp had 19 threes in the first round, and she's still stroking it. She's knocking down more than, than her counterparts. 
She's in a little bit of a rhythm. Another good basket. Good form, good rotation. Good rotation. Good follow through. Need to get her to teach some shooting instruction. Good form there. Three-point shootout winner. She can lay claim to say that she was the first. So the first. She's she's a history history question. She's a history question. The first ever three-point shootout winner. Tanner Tripp out of Mill Valley. Tanner Tripp from Mill Valley. She ended up hitting 17 in the finals, but first round, 19. Looks like they're going to get ready here for the second half, so 